my name is Miss Julie. I work at the Romeoville branch of the White Oak Library District, and I am here today for an art club with you. And I hope that you're gonna have a lot of fun making a fun creation with me. We have a few supplies that you'll need to do this project. It's called a sprinkle painting. And what you'll need to have to make your sprinkle painting is a set of watercolor paints, a cup of water, paintbrush, and then just a little bit of kosher salt. You probably have this, or your parents probably have this in the kitchen. So just grab a little bit, maybe like a teaspoon or a tablespoon of kosher salt. Okay, and then all we need to do for this project, it's really simple actually, but there's a little bit of science involved in this too, so it's really cool. So all I'm gonna do is paint my watercolors. I'm just gonna do a little red and blue today as an example, I already did a little bit before I started. So I'm just painting, 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 just having fun. Let's get a little more blue in there. Okay, make my blue a little bit bigger, all right. Okay, and then before everything dries completely, we're just gonna take a little pinch of the kosher salt and kind of sprinkle it on the part that we've painted, okay? And I can't wait until everything is dry because that would be a really long and really boring video for you guys to watch. But let me just show you what I've already done. So I did this one a while ago, I used green and orange. So you can tell the places where I sprinkled the salt because the salt absorbs the color and so you've got kind of like a neat pattern that it makes. It almost looks like snowflakes or something has landed on the paper. So that's what's gonna happen to this when it dries and then I'll have a really, another nice, fun um, sprinkle watercolor to hang up on my wall. So I hope you do this project at home. It's really simple and it's, it's a fun, fun project to do on a cold winter day. So have a great time doing your art club project and I'll see you again soon for another one. Bye.